Good evening, you're watching the news from the South Island of Oman Television. First, the headlines. His Excellency, the Secretary General of the Gulf Corporation Council, hails His Majesty's support and care for the GCC institutions to promote further integration and unity. And the Research Council announces the winners of the prizes for transferring graduation projects to startup enterprises. Good evening. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has sent a couple of greetings to His Excellency Dr. Michel Temer, President of Brazil, on his country's National Day. In a ceremony to mark the occasion of awarding the ISO Certificate in Information Security to GCC Statistical Center, His Excellency Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Azayani, the Secretary of the Gulf Cooperation Council, commended His Majesty and the Omani government for the support and attention given to the GCC collaborative and joint efforts for Gulf integration and unity as the Sultanate of Oman continued to support institutions that fall under the umbrella of the Gulf Corporation Council. In a statement made to Oman Television and Radio, His Excellency the Secretary General to the Gulf Corporation Council stressed that GCC committees continue to hold their meetings. His Excellency added that the results of these meetings would take into consideration the interest of Gulf citizens in education, health, economic and other developmental areas. The GCC Statistical Center organized a ceremony to mark the occasion of being awarded International ISO Certificate in Information Security. The event was held under the patronage of His Excellency Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Azayani, Secretary General of Gulf Corporation Council. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi. The GCC Statistical Center has been awarded the certification of ISO 27001 in information security from the German company TUV, which specializes in certification and auditing. The certification was handed over to the GCC Statistical Center in Muscat at a ceremony in the presence of His Excellency, the Secretary General of the GCC. This uh, certificate it has been achieved by, you know, by the center when we had you know, a committee, first of all, to start it. Uh, and uh, this committee, it was uh, leading the information security. Information security, uh, it's very important. And, uh, after we got the support from the top management, we decided to go for this uh, certificate to uh, make sure that the center is going towards and implementing the controls to achieve this security information of ISO 27 and 1. The center won the certification for implementing international best practices to protect information from unauthorized usage, to detect any illegal usage or possible abuses, and mitigating damage in the event of a security incident through the application of information security policy. The GCC Statistical Center confirms that obtaining the ISO certification is a full commitment of the center to protect its information systems and the confidence of the member countries in the procedures adopted within the institution, especially that the center is concerned with statistics and figures. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi, Muscat. As part of the preparation for the British Omani Joint Military Training Exercise Swift Sword 3, His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed al Nomani, Minister of Royal Office, received in his office Lieutenant General John Lermier, UK's Defence Senior Advisor to the Middle East, and the accompanying delegation. The two sides exchanged cordial talks and touched upon several areas of mutual interest. His Excellency General Sultan bin Mohammed al Nu'mani, Minister of the Royal Office, received General Joseph L. Votel, Commander of U.S. Central Command. During the meeting, they reviewed a number of topics related to enhancing cooperation between both countries so as to serve the joint interests.
His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Saud bin Harb al Busaidi, Minister Responsible for Defense Affairs, received Lieutenant General John Lorimer, UK's Defense Senior Advisor to the Middle East, and his accompanying delegation. The meeting focused on military cooperation between both countries as well as a number of matters of mutual concern. The meeting was attended by Rear Admiral Abdullah bin Khamisa Raisi, Commander of Royal Navy of Oman, and His Excellency the Ambassador of UK to the Sultanate of Oman. His Excellency Sayyid Badr bin Saud bin Harb al Busaidi, Minister Responsible for Defense Affairs, also received uh, General Joseph L. Votel, Commander of U.S. Central Command. They discussed existing military cooperation between the Sultanate and the United States of America. To enhance and accommodate students' learning and education in the field of technology and in an agreement to construct innovation and robotics center was signed with Oman LNG in cooperation with the Minister of Education represented by Directorate General of Education in the Governorate of North al Batina. The center aims at attracting and nurturing young talents in the fields of innovation that primarily serves modern technologies in the field of renewable energy. The center is another addition to the efforts exerted by the public and private sectors to prepare young Omanis in the era of the fourth industrial revolution that focuses on technological innovation and artificial intelligence. Research Center announced the winners of prizes for transferring graduation projects to startup enterprises. This approach came as part of the Sultan's endeavor to keep pace with the fourth industrial revolution and provide the national economy with small and medium enterprises. The ceremony was presided over by Her Highnesses Dr. Muna bin Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Said, Vice Chancellor Assistant of Sultan Qaboos University for International Cooperation. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and still to come in our news bulletin. A campaign to introduce building regulation was launched by the regional municipalities in the governorate of Adakhiliya. Welcome back uh, to the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. The Royal Oman Police said that an eight-year-old child from the Sudanese community was found dead in a school bus, appeared to have suffocated after staying unattended for many hours. Similar accidents have occurred during the past years due to negligence of the school bus drivers. The Royal Oman Police urges all school bus drivers to check the buses before they end their duty so as to avoid such incidents in the future. To know the economic situation for Omani families, the National Center for Statistics and Information uh, conducting uh, a poll about the consumer trust. The poll will be conducted by using telephone and will cover all governorates of the Sultanate as to know the current economic situations, family income and consumer expectations. It also evaluates the buying power of citizens. The size of sample amounts to 1,500 Omani citizens taking into consideration males and females and different educational levels. The Oman Air announced its uh, intention to launch its new daily services between Muscat and the Russian capital Moscow at the end of October. This daily service uh, will be operated to, uh, to Domendodovo International Airport on its new 737 Boeing and MAX 8 aircraft. The new route will operate connection trips uh, through Muscat International Airport to various destinations around the world. The Oman Air will resume its daily service 
service uh, between the Sultanate and Maldives at the end of October. The new step uh, came with the ambitious expansion plan of the national carrier in terms of its network and fleet. 35 new schools will, with the modern specifications were launched by the Minister of Education this year. These schools were designed as past standards and with equipment that serve the educational process. Amjad School in Tanam a village in the Wilai of Ibri is one of these typical schools which received its 475 male and female students this year. The school consists of 20 classrooms and educational and administrative facilities. It was provided with modern communication systems between the administration and teachers. The regional municipalities in the governorate of Adakhli launched a campaign to introduce the building regulation targeting building owners, contractors and consultants. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan Rahbi was there and he has this report. Under the slogan, Building and Commitment, the regional municipalities in the governorate of Adakhli is conducting an awareness campaign to introduce building regulation and application of technical construction requirements. This campaign aims to spread awareness among the target bodies about the building regulation and the technical rules needed for building. The event, which runs until the end of September, includes workshops to review the most important technical aspects that should be taken into account in the implementation of construction projects. Through this campaign, we target uh, the contractor, consultant, and uh, owner to brief them about the building uh, regulation. The programs of this initiative also include field visits to assess ongoing projects, providing observational feedback on irregularities and ways to eliminate them. This campaign endeavors to spread awareness among the community about the importance of abiding by building regulations. From the Wilaya of Nizwa, Saleh Mukhalfan al Rahbi, Al Dakhliya, Governorate. And now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate, partly cloudy to cloudy skies will prevail over the coastal areas of the Governorate of the Far and, it in, and its nearby mountains with chances of intermittent drizzle. Rest of the Sultanate will have clear skies with chances of cloud accumulation and scattered uh, rainfall over the Hajar Mountains. Low clouds and fog late at night and early morning are expected over the coasts of the Arabian Sea and Sea of Oman. Winds will be south to southeasterly light. Moderate seas will be slight uh, with a maximum wave height of 1 to 5 meters. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. 
His Excellency the Secretary General of the Gulf Corporation Council hails His Majesty's support and care for the GCC institutions to promote further integration and unity. And the Research Council announces the winners of the prizes for transferring education projects to startup enterprises. And with that, uh, we do conclude this news bulletin. Thank you for joining us and good night.